Hello everyone, this is Abhishek from Caps Lucky channel. Let's get started in a short and simple way, so shall we? Android P Top 6 things you need to know. Are you ready for the next flavor of Android? Google has cracked the lead on the next version of Android so developers can peek inside and prepare their apps for all of the new features coming our way later later this year. While it's not a quiet time to smash the update button on your phone for Android P, there are plenty of things worth getting excited about already. Indoor Positioning Google wants to make turn-by-turn -turn direction while you are inside just as good as maps become when you are outside and Android P is going to start making that happen with a little help from Wi-Fi round trip time RWT. This feature in 802.11 MC will make it possible for apps to know how far you are from the Wi-Fi access point you are connected to and developers will be able to use that information to give you a more accurate location indoors. If that sounds like something you are probably not going to be able to use on your exciting phone, there's a good chance you are right. This will likely be a feature you will be benefit from in your next phone, rather than the one who you have in your hand right now, mostly like a phone with a pixel branding on it somewhere. Notification continue to improve. Google is making it possible for developers to move even more of the conversion from your messenger of choice into a notification. Image attachments and stickers are appearing in the notification now. Replacing that dead person has a sent an attachment. The message you get on this the this dramatically improves at a glance messaging but also means Something a single message in your notification drop down can occupy a lot of physical real estate. This new notification style will also give a developers the option to add quick replies similar to the system currently seen in Google Allo and the reply bot in Google Replies app. It's not clear at how much control developers will have over these replies or if the system will simply tie into the smart reply system Google is currently using elsewhere, but either way more robust notifications are on the horizon. Tripling down on privacy There are a lot of security and privacy things happening in the background for Android P. The biggest by the far is the new restriction system of sensors, cameras and microphones when an app is marked as idle. All of this system will stop re reporting to the app as soon as it is idle and any apps looking information from those sources will get notified nothing in return. Google is going so far as to recommend removing any language requesting background access because those features will no longer function. Google is also enabling this encryption for backups with a silent side secret and per network randomization of MAC address. But this feature won't be fully available until later version of the Android P preview. Finally, individual apps are going to have a better access to the fingerprint system in the Android P including a better UI across apps so users know that fingerprint authentication comes from the same trusted source. Multi-camera support Several Android phones have multiple cameras on the front or back these days, but every very few of them are able to work simultaneously. Google is adding a API for developers to explore a world where multiple cameras being used at the same time is possible. This could be mean anything from depth sensing magic using multiple cameras to an Apple style live protect mode or even commercial phones using a standard camera and a thermal camera at the same time to overlay the two images. Additionally, Google is adding support for apps to use image stabilization and any display based flash just like the primary camera app on your phone. Bottom line in the third party cameras are going to keep getting better. Support for that notch. As manufacturers shrinks bezel and 
the front facing sensors leave a notch on your display and rod p will make it easier to swap out the cutout in the display with the apis to help to create ui around the notch this means full screen apps with buttons on the sides will be able to activately avoid those notches areas in the display which is great for everyone to help developers in this early stages several different notch style have been added to the android p simulator so you can test these things without having a phone on hand with them this is not ready for you to use it this point doesn't come from google but can't we trust enough every time a new version of android is released to developers this is an unstable unfinished version of android with features that might not even make it to the final release of android p unless you are working on an app you probably don't want to install the first version of android p on your phone if you do install it on a phone you probably don't want to it to be a phone you rarely on for any important but if you are absolutely must have it right now for the latest tech news and reviews follow caps like on twitter facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel that's all for now keep watching all the videos and wait for the next batch tech videos for you